Hello, most amazing people. This is Joseph, and I have another great one for you guys. If you like Western wear, if you love cowboy boots, these are Python. They are made by star, just like the sun is a star. That is how these are pronounced, star boots. They're made in Mexico. And I really, really, really think these look nice. These are what they call belly cut python. So they cut the belly of the snake and then you get the back of the snake that shows up. So this is actually, they have belly cut and they have back cut. Back cut shows, of course, the belly of the snake. But this shows the back of the snake, like if you were looking down on it as it was crawling. Now, the nice thing about this is these are rare boots. No, they're not rare as far as you can't buy them. But what makes them rare is they're made by a company, Star Boots, out of the distribution center is out of New Jersey. But no one knows about these boots except for a few. And I want to put it out that if you want an amazing pair of cowboy boots, Star Boots is a great way to go. Now, these are on the website, timsboots.com, T-I-M apostrophe S, boots.com. And you can still buy these for the same price I paid in 2000. I got them probably in 2013 or 2014, and we're now in 2020. So they're the same price, $427. And these boots are of the highest quality I've ever owned. I just bought a pair of Los Altos boots, and they are beautiful boots, but they are not the quality that these are, and I'm gonna show you some close-ups. But not saying the Los Altos are bad boots, but compared to these, they're not as high a quality. I bought the Honey Cayman Belly, beautiful boot. I have reviews on it on my channel. And all of my exotic skin boots, I have four pair, are gonna be on this channel. And it's really hard to find good videos that come in HD where people actually take their time and make a nice video out of it that people can enjoy but take a look at the back here i see a lot of videos but they're just not done what i would consider well where people really love their boots and take time to show them off and there's that calf line and then let's look here it's a single stitched welt Snip toe, that's what all my boots are, my favorite. I do not like round toe. I will do a J toe. That'd be the only one I would go with other than the snip toe. Otherwise, to me, it just isn't a cowboy boot. That's my style. And then here's the lemonwood pegs. Brass nails, Goodyear welt, so you can replace it. Now, I don't wear my cowboy boots every day or every week or every month. I'm a special occasion guy, but I do like to dress up every now and again and wear them. I like to wear them with a nice pair of jeans. Now, all the boots I'm featuring here, I have uh, belts for, and I'll show you the belt I have for this one. And... I'm going to do on feet reviews on all of these so you'll be able to see them on the channel if you want to see what they look like with the nice pair of jeans. Now these really look good also with a nice pair of dockers, like a black or brown pair of dockers, even blue. Uh, I have a really pretty set of blue, darker blue uh, dockers. And then I also have a pair of green dockers, like an olive green, like an army green almost. And they are really go good with these because they come down to like right about here, show off a nice portion of the toe. And these are super buttery, soft, so comfortable, guys. Even though the snip toe, your toes come to here, just maybe a little bit past. 
so you don't get cramped in there. To me, these are size 12D Delta, and to me, these fit absolutely perfect. Now let me show you the belt that goes with this. All right, guys, there's that beautiful python belt that goes with it that I bought to go with it. This is all genuine leather, handmade, real python, of course. None of my belts are fake. And this one, I did a full review of all of my turquoise. So if you're curious as to see what my turquoise looks like, I have a very beautiful collection of turquoise. I say that humbly because I'm happy to, that I was able to get some of that stuff over the years, of course, slowly, because I bought this belt buckle. It's real Rawworth tusk, crimshod by an Eskimo up in Alaska, and a gentleman bought this polar bear area. It's authentic walrus tusk. Uh, years and years, I mean, probably probably 60 years ago, and no telling when it was crimshod, but he was stationed up in Alaska in the Army, this guy that made the belt buckle, and he was selling this belt buckle because he didn't wear it. He was selling it at a gift shop in a small town I used to live in, Hugo, Colorado, out by Lyman, Colorado, and I got it for 175 bucks in about 2006, 2007. And boy, I was happy to get it because you look at a at a belt buckle like this now with uh, with uh, authentic uh, ivory from a walrus tusk and the turquoise and the black bear, authentic black bear claws. I don't even can't guess how much something like that would cost. Thousands if you could find it, which I've never seen one like this. So there's that beautiful belt that you get with it. You know, you have to order separate, of course, but just really, really nice. And then if you put that together with your turquoise, and you can really dress up, and I'm going to show all of these on feet, like I said, but you get your turquoise going with it. So that's most of my turquoise there. And how nice is that? I got that really nice bracelet and the two rings, the belt buckle, and then your bolo tie. All handmade. This bolo tie was made just for me. This bracelet was made just for me in Colorado from the same guy that made the belt buckle after I finally got a hold of him and we design this we sat down and design this and how nice a thick piece of silver that is the guy is truly an artist and he trained with the indians down in arizona and new mexico and after he got out of the army he was a game warden i have a review on all of my turquoise close up and everything and this bolo tie again made just for me with the oval turquoise and the beautiful red coral see if i can get a nice close-up for you there you go guys and you wear that with your i mean this is all bold jewelry but guys wearing cowboy boots that's a bold statement especially if you're going with some nice ones now in mexico i don't know if these are made in leon mexico i don't know that much about them that way but from what I'm told, they get a semi-truck in this town of Mexico, and they make boots. That's all they do in this town is make boots. And I know that's a big thing in Leon, Mexico. And they make these beautiful boots. And then they just make them, box them up, and send them to New Jersey, where New Jersey is where they get the distributor that's where they distribute all this stuff but yeah i just really think and then guys if you ever so to take care of your boots this is all you need right here 
Bit number four, okay? I don't recommend the cleaner. I mean, just go with this, the conditioner. And you just put some on your hands. This stuff is great. I'll get a close-up. If you are into cowboy boots and have been for quite some time, this is going to look really familiar to you. But I'll get you all the information there. It's Bickmore is the company. Bick 4 is what they call it, leather conditioner. Conditions, cleans, polishes, and protects. See, you don't need the cleaners and all that. Just that are harsh on your skins. Won't darken leather. A bottle of this is about anywhere from 16 to 20 bucks. You can even get it on Amazon. And what you do is you just put some in your hands and you just rub it on real gently. You want to go with the way that the scales are facing. So the scales for this one are going down. Okay. And then you can put it on the leather. You just put it in your hands, rub it together in both hands and just like lotion, put them on your boots Put them on your boots, rub them in right here on all the leather, put them on your boots. You can do the belt, which you should. So you don't want your skins drying out. That's where I'm going with all this. So every couple months, I would recommend doing this, even if you're not wearing them. And then you just put it on. And then what I do is I get like a nice sock, um, clean, of course, nice, soft cotton sock. And that's what I use just for, just for uh, cleaning and taking care of my boots. And you can wash your socks too after you're done. Um, I wouldn't wash them with other clothes, but save them up. Uh, you know, you can use one sock for several pairs of boots. And then after I let them sit for maybe five, seven minutes, rubbing in, just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing in. And then you just take that sock, kind of fold it up and you just bring it down. Again, don't go this way against the scales. You want to, you can feel how the scales go real easy with your hands. So the scales on this one are all going this way for the vamp. And I also wanted to show you guys, these boots are a one piece vamp. I'll show you that in just a second. There's no seams on these things, but you rub it on getting back to that, rub it on, go with the grain of the scale. And then when do it on the leather up here too. And up here, you could even do it on the inside leather and just take that sock dry and just rub your boots out and it'll come right off and it gives them a nice shine. I did these right before I did the re started the review. And then you can take that and just gently, gently, Kind of get the excess off real gently and then come down here again you want to go this way kind of fold up your sock and bring it around so you can get all that lotion off of your um welt here and um yeah and just go there but i did want to show you the sides of these boots no seams this is a one piece skin and again you can still get this on timsboots.com 427 bucks worth every penny I highly recommend these. Nice, beautiful, no seams, one piece, snip toe. These are size 12D. They fit true to size. And then you can use your Bickmore 4 to condition them. And then you could even use your Bick 4. Same way I told you, find where the, the grain is going. You can feel this one is going this way. So I would just take the lotion, put it on my hands, rub my two hands together and just take the belt buckle off and just take that and just rub it all on the belt. Just rub it the way the belt's going. Get it all nice and moist with the leather conditioner. It's just like a lotion. This is actually just a lotion for your exotic skins. The best stuff, this is the only stuff you'll need to buy to take care of crocodile, caiman, your snake skin boots, if you like the lizard skin, any exotic skin, and for all leather boots too. So this is your one go-to. And if you're not wearing your boots outside to work in, then this is what you want, guys, to clean. You don't need the heavy-duty cleaners. Guys, that's my review on my Star Python Belly Cut Boots. Hope you enjoyed it.